This experience has influenced my view on global public health as it relates to nursing in that I didn't have a clear perspective about global public health as it relates to nursing before the program. But after the program, I now have a better understanding of what it means and why it's important. And I've come to understand that global public health as it relates to nursing means improving health and achieving equity in health for all people worldwide. One of the aspects of improving health and equity I hadn't considered prior to the program is how healthcare systems differ between countries. Some countries like Haiti, which I spent a lot of time learning about and doing research for our presentations, needs drastic improvements in almost every aspect of their healthcare system. However, I also noticed that even in developed countries such as England, for example, there's always room for improvement also. We visited um, a hospital in England and as I was walking through the hospital there, I noticed that there was a surprising lack of air conditioning in the patient's rooms. And I noticed that this not only led to uh, patient comfort or patient discomfort during the hot days, but it also presents uh, health risks related to increased microbial growth. Um, one of the things that I've learned from uh, this Oxford experience is that we can always learn something from other cultures in order to better our own culture and understand. I think this applies in the healthcare setting and to the nursing setting as well. I believe by learning from other cultures and applying what we've learned to our own, we can improve ourselves as nurses and also create a better healthcare system globally. On a personal level, I have changed significantly, I would say. Um, I'm more culturally aware. I'm more confident in my academic abilities and um, my abilities to be able to finish assignments uh, in a timely manner. And when we're given a limited amount of time, I feel more independent because uh, prior to this experience, I've never traveled anywhere by myself. So I definitely feel more independent. And uh, I remember getting the uh, invitation. I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to apply because prior to this, um, this invitation, I had applied to the global public health firm, Panama, and I got the interview, but I didn't get it, so um, I didn't want to feel that disappointment again um, if I didn't get accepted to the Oxford Honors Program, but I did apply anyway, took that chance, and I remember on the day of the interview, I was so nervous. I think it's one of the most nervous I've ever been in any interviews. Um, I couldn't breathe actually at some point during the interview. Um, so I had to like take a deep breath, you know, but I thought I actually bombed the interview. And I remember the day that I received an email of acceptance. It was during OB class and one of my friends said, oh, did you get accepted? Because she had gotten accepted. And I'm like, uh, I didn't check my email yet. Let me check. And so I, I was so scared of opening that email. And I clicked on it and it says, congratulations, you got accepted. I pretty much like jumped for joy. I'm like, I got accepted. You know, so that was, that was really uh, something. That was a memorable moment. Um, so I'm going to Oxford. And there was a lot of planning, you know, booking hotels, uh, because I traveled a week before that, booking hotels, like looking up train routes, how, how am I gonna get to Oxford, buying flight tickets. So a lot of preparation went in that, which contributed to increase my overall confidence of planning things. 
and yeah, I feel, I feel very empowered by this whole experience and I don't regret a single moment of it. What do I want to do next? Well, I want to travel. I have a travel bug. I want to travel all around the world and you know, learn about different cultures and integrate myself with new cultures, meet new people, learn to adapt and perhaps become a travel nurse at some point. Um, I also want to uh, go for higher education. Um, that's the path I'm considering. But first I want to practice for maybe like a couple of years to gain some experience as a registered nurse and then perhaps get my um, master's in nursing and become a nurse leader somehow. And then um, at some point, I want to join the Nurses Without Borders and travel and serve undeserved communities. You know, one of the skills that we practiced during this Oxford Honors Program is education. Like through all those presentations, we educated our peers and did research, gave the presentation, and that has to do with education. So I feel like educating people in underserved communities, like small rural villages, can have a huge impact on their social determinants of health. So at some point in my life, you know, after my high, higher education and um, accumulating more knowledge and expanding my scope of practice, I want to travel maybe for the summer or um, a year or two and teach people and make a difference. So that's my plan.